Hey, it's Mr. Harry. I want to take you on a trip with my kindergarten class to Way Fruit Farm in Port Matilda, Pennsylvania. The Apple Farm field trip is always one of my favorite experiences of the whole school year. And now you can see all of the highlights of our trip. We had all six kindergarten classes from my school going on this field trip, so we needed to take the big yellow school buses out to the farms. Some students were extra excited because they had never been on a bus before. Neat! In the late morning, we finally arrived at our destination. There it is! Way Fruit Farm in Port Matilda, Pennsylvania. I've already been coming here for a decade of field trips, but this year's class will experience the Apple Farm for the first time today. Way Fruit Farm is a family-owned business, and the entire field trip is run and presented by the Way family themselves. I always make sure to tell the Way family how much I appreciate them, because they give us so much information about how apples are harvested, and because they're so nice. We start our trip by hopping onto one of the tractor-pulled wagons at the farm. Look! There's Mr. Brooks, the patriarch of the Way family, starting the wagon ride presentation. He asks the students to pretend that they are an apple and to think about what it would be like on each part of today's trip. Before we know it, we're already taking our wagon ride into real-life apple orchards. We had already been learning all week that apple orchards are full of apple trees started from just a small seed. The students can't believe how many apple trees there are and so many different kinds of apples. Hey, whose ladder is that? It's Miss Megan's ladder. The wagon stops as Megan teaches us about apple trees from right inside the orchard. She shows us baby apple trees and lets us know that all of these big trees started just like a little one. She builds our apple knowledge by telling us how ways apple pickers pick the apples off the tree. She says that they twist the apple and don't just pull it straight off the branch. We keep hearing that we don't ever want the apples to get bruised. That means damaged. Some of the students wonder why a few of the apples look like they're a different color than the rest. Megan tells us that the apples found in the very center of the trees don't get much sunlight, and because they're hidden, they won't get to turn red like the rest. Last, she shows us the special container that apple pickers wear over their shoulders when collecting their apples. She points out the cool bag on the bottom that opens up and drops apples directly into those huge bins so they don't get bruised. Well. I guess you can tell that we're saying goodbye to Megan in this tractor ride and back on its way through the orchard. Everyone's having fun as we see even more types of apples on the way back to the factory. Megan's husband Jason is waiting back at the parking lot to show us how he moves those big apple bins around. Hmm, they seem too large and too heavy to pick up with human strength. That's why Jason uses his sweet forklift to carry those bins way up high. They'll have to stack a lot of bins when there's a big harvest. He tells us that the bins ultimately get stored in their giant refrigerator room, which is where he takes us next. Yep, you heard me right. We get to walk inside the huge refrigerated room where we saw hundreds and hundreds of apples being responsibly stored so they would stay fresh. I noticed that in addition to just apples, there were other products staying cool in the room too, like apple cider. After a quick talk with Jason, we went straight into the apple sorting area. I always like to think of it as the apple factory warehouse. This is always my favorite part of the trip. Look how the apples roll right onto the conveyor belt, where they are spun around and washed with water, then dried next. You can see the workers from Way Fruit Farm taking the apples and checking things carefully when they're finished. Those big circles are for sorting the apples by size afterwards. Jason tells the kids that some of the smallest and smushed apples can get used to make other apple products. They don't waste a single thing, do they? We start to leave the warehouse area because it's time to check out the store where the Way family sells their products to its customers. Check out all those apples people can buy. But apples aren't the only thing for sale. We see many other items for sale too. 
Before we get back outside, we have to walk through their cool restaurant and cafe area. I actually ate here with my family last week. It was yummy. Jason leads us outside for the last part of our trip. While we can't actually pick apples directly from the orchard ourselves, we are given plastic bags and told that we can pick apples from three different bins to take home. The kids are so excited as they choose apples from a real fruit farm. Ah, rats, our time is getting short and it's time to go back to our school on the buses. We've had such a great time learning about how apples are planted, grown, picked, and distributed to people just like us. Thanks for joining us.